Sure. So Nick's last name is difficult to pronounce for many. Uh, I'll, I'll refer to it as Nick Vujicic, kind of like a voyage, Nick Vujicic. He's Australian by birth. He's American by choice, a, a pretty well-known author, inspirational speaker, motivational speaker, and has a large podcast. And, and unlike you and I, he, however, was born without limbs, no arms and no legs. Many people will, 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 will Google now Nick Vujicic and you'll realize, oh yeah, I've heard of him. He is a remarkable individual, has a head and a neck and a torso and a groin, much like you and I, but nothing beneath um, his groin area or arms or legs. And he is absolutely a model for what I call gratitude. That is the first transformational mm -hmm. insight in the book. And you might think, well, why would, what would Nick have to be grateful about? Well, so Nick's grateful for everything he has and, and maybe even what he doesn't have because he's built an amazing life of magnetism and positivity with no arms and no legs. Nick is dependent, Wanda, on somebody for everything, scratching his head, for adjusting his glasses, using the restroom, dressing himself, eating. Nick is incapable of doing anything alone with the exception of controlling his mindset his paradigms, his beliefs. He very much lives in the future and not the past. He lives in the present moment. He's grateful for all he has in his life. And I share a story in the book around how my wife and I, Stephanie, live in Salt Lake City and we're privileged once or twice a month to hold dinner parties in our backyard. We invite usually a celebrity over and eight or 10 or 12 or 15 of our friends from all walks of life. And Nick was a guest once and was sitting in my living room prior to the other dinner guest arriving. And I was just watching Nick, realizing how ungrateful I had been in my life here to that point for my hands and my legs and my arms and my fingers. And you can read the, the, read the, the book to learn the, the story. But the big idea was how Nick has instilled in me a level of gratitude that I never had, including gratitude for things that might seem as burdens. I've mentioned in, this, in the book, I, I tell a story about how on Sunday evenings in Salt Lake City in the winter where it's zero degrees and the, the, it's, it's dark by four o'clock and I have to take the garbage out at night. And I dread taking the garbage out because I slip and slide across the driveway and get out to the garbage cans and cling on and realize that tomorrow morning is garbage day, right? Where the right. garbage cans have to now three of them be rolled down 80 yards out to the street. And I always dread that I have to take the garbage cans out. Right. Now, the reason I mention that is because in the chapter, I talk about how I think it's so valuable to have this paradigm of not I have to, not I ought to, but I get to. Mm -hmm. I get to take the garbage out because Nick Vujicic cannot take the garbage out. But even further in life, I get to have a high courage conversation with a colleague. I get to terminate someone tomorrow because they're not right for this role and we're not right for them. I get to send them on their way. I think the power of this first chapter beyond gratitude is how do you see everything in your life as a challenge, as a joy through not the lens of I have to, or I ought to, but rather I get, get to. to.